Hello everybody, and of course, welcome back to Dickie's videos, where no war game remains unplayed. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce a new series to my channel, a unofficial Field of Glory 2 uh, tutorial guide videos, uh, and also hints and tips which I'll be bringing in for videos. And in the future, I will be bringing uh, some Field of Glory 2 veterans to the battlefield to discuss other uh, advanced tactics in uh, future uh, videos, which I'm looking forward to. So I did sit here thinking about where would I start uh, with a tutorial video, and today we are here, of course, with hotkeys. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you do like this, learn something, please comment, click like, and also consider subscribing. So today we are going to have a quick uh, analytical look, a discussion about hotkeys uh, and personally what keys I use uh, when playing a game of Field of Glory 2, you know, either competitive or just in a casual nature. So we'll start at the top, up there somewhere. So looking at the, uh, I think probably slightly more very important keys for Field of Glory 2 that I think sometimes I don't, I, I don't see very many other YouTubers or content creators uh, use very often, um, and maybe they do and I don't see it, but uh, if you if you have your thoughts, please post below. So we'll look at the key number one. This is, of course, on your left side of the keyboard, uh, which is, is LOF display, which, is, of course, is line of fire. So we're just going to select a unit of un, uh, unarmored horse archers. By pressing the one key, uh, it will show the range. Um, as I click here, so you can see it's slightly better. As you can see here, there's the range. We won't go into range weapons just yet. This will be in a further tutorial. So it's going to look, look just purely looking at the hotkeys and what they do. And then in the future videos, we're going to have a, a bigger discussion about the the, the nitty gritty nitty gritty details. So there you go, easy enough. Line of fire by pressing the one key again, you just take it off. Okay, so the next key on the list is LOS. LOS, line of sight. As you know, many maps are hilly, swampy, foresty, rivery, marshy, whatever, mar built up -y, some stuff like that. Um, if you press the two, you will see your line of sight, uh, which is very interesting. I do use this. I do flicker it on and off occasionally to see where what I can see, what I can't see. If I'm thinking you can hide something behind a mountain, so just in case here, as on the enemy side, you could see they could have hit some units behind uh, these uh, blocks here or in this wood behind that I couldn't see and would have been a surprise to me, uh, you know, further on in the game and in their engagement and maybe give you the upper hand or the computer player or whoever you're playing uh, a slight upper hand by hiding some forces. So think about that when you're playing, ladies and gentlemen. Think about where your troops are placed, what you can see straight away, because what you can see straight away, in my personal opinion, playing Field of Glory 2, de de decides where you put a lot of your units. So if you've got some bigger units hidden away there, you can... Uh, you know, you can have a little bit of a, a little bit of a surprise for your opponent. You can go kaboom! I go, there's some pikemen. I'm gonna pike your cavalry with or something like that. So there we go. Um, and also the number three is the command range. So of course for rallying and other effects and moving generals around, by pressing the free key, uh, you will see it has a bubble. So my uh, sub general there, uh, my C and sub sub general there. Um, I don't think I placed my. Uh, I don't think I placed my. Uh, oh no, I did. Is there my scene season there? So the nice thing as well, which you probably noticed, the uh, hockey stack for this one, two, and three, they stay on, which is nice. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll, I can move it, I very rarely stack them, in my opinion. Uh, I do keep them. I do just tab them on and off occasionally. Probably number one and two more, and three when I'm uh, the free key when I'm in uh, the game. Um, but the line of sight is very important, line of sight, especially when you're thinking about where you can shoot from. So there we go, very simple. Think about it. You can surprise people with this. You really can. And it is worth just, it costs nothing to press that. Well, it costs you moving your finger to the key, but... Okay, so let's go on to the next um, selection of keys. There is a few that I've noticed. I'm referencing, of course, the, the Field of Glory 2 manual. And I think there is slight, a couple missing. There's a couple missing. But as I said, uh, as I'm going to say, Post below if you think I've missed any, because I'll be interested to add them onto a later video. Um, so, of course, your general RTS strategy game, WASD keys are, of course, moving around. That simple. If you've been moving with your mouse, don't do it now. Use the keys. Use the keys. It's a lot nicer. Um, of course, uh, going to the next key, combat logs. There is no combat logs, unfortunately, here. Um, at the moment in time. Uh, by pressing the C key, you can select them, 
I just, in my personal opinion of using them, I select them on and off as as willy nilly. The nice thing about it, you can move them around if you want it to the right, one to the left. You just you don't want it anymore. Just on and off, on and off with that key. Okay, we come to the next key. So this is you holding control and pressing the left mouse button. So there we go. Uh, showing a detailed tooltip of all of your uh, abilities and um, abilities, really. So, of course, you've got the description of what it is. Uh, you, of course, have it's a light horse with bow. It's troop quality, uh, capabilities, um, sorry, troop type, capabilities, troop quality, armor, current strength, morale, disorder status, uh, control status, shooting, impact, and melee. Um, and you can move this around, just if you didn't know this. And if you were just getting a little bit too information whammy, you can put both of these up at the same time. And then pressing the C key to get rid of that, but also clicking the X key to get rid of that. It's brilliant. You can stack them as much as you like. Um, but I just occasionally switch them on, switch them off when I need them. So, uh, the next key that I've got here is to the next unshot unit. And of course, this is going to go to nobody because literally we have nobody who's unshot. Uh, so everybody's unshot, so it won't select anybody, unfortunately. Uh, of course, like I discussed, the uh, ASD keys are just moving around, which we just, we've talked about. Um, the other two keys that we are interesting are the E and Q key, which E rotates it to the right. Uh, right. Uh, E a D rotate it to the left, sorry D to the D to the right, E to the left. Simple as, very simple. I, I don't have to tell you any more than that. It's uh, easy enough. If I can work it. You guys can work it. Okay, so of course escape, main menu. Uh, you know, of course all your settings uh, and all your gubbins on here. Anything you want to change, um, which is like that. Uh, and of course something that add on to here, you can um, toggle. A lot of these things off like your tooltips and your combat logs you can toggle them simple or detailed i this is the setup i have and i've never changed it i don't really sometimes want to see the detailed um or anything like that um and the game resolution and anything you want to think and just press escape again of course you come off uh but of course if you forget all this f1 your hotkeys are there um but, like I said, this video is more to give my personal opinion, but also uh, show you guys where everything is if you've not looked, or if you just jump straight into the game. Okay, so, of course, we're just going to click the X there again. Um, so, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot zoom. I missed zoom there. Zoom. F is zoom out. Um, yeah, zoom out is F. Or scroll wheel. Scroll wheel, guys and girls. I use the scroll wheel all the time here. Um, F2 screenshots very rarely take screenshots myself uh i cut and paste and do recording so i get all my snippets off my uh, content uh behind me to the my left your my right side on the screen j uh, reduces the mini map gets rid of the mini map personally i don't use the mini map um if any people disagree or agree and want to tell me if they use the mini map post below i'd lo love to hear your comments and i'll probably uh, announce that in a future video um so k something i don't use very often is casualties um you know of course infantry cavalry total killed wounded routed engineers lost etc it's very self-explanatory right there um of course we have um l which is a key i don't use the unit list which of course you can move around if you want to but i'm sure i'm assuming it's just going to be something you put up I, the only thing i could see is interesting here is to see what's heavy if you wanted a quick brief through what your forces are i don't know still don't use it i find it very relevant but that's my personal opinion but it, it can be useful when you're looking at overall steadiness and strength of each unit but i'll just physically go through my units there okay one thing what I do find interesting, the M key, the overview map, the bird's eye view, the, the got the view from the gods, which you can see. Um, pretty interesting. Don't use it very often, but it could. What I think Field of Glory 2 misses is um, maybe a colour code or numbers where the heights are. So, you know, th this height, this height would be zero. 
and this height would be 50 on the map. It would be nice to have numbers on the map. That's something I'd like to see in Field of Glory too. So I'd just press a key and see the numbers and see what height it is rather than having to put my mouse over it so I can see like a, a view, overall view of the map, which, I, which that's my own personal view anyway. Okay, so coming back to the next one. After M, of course, is N. This is to the next unit. The reason I'm um, saying this loudly is to next unit, moved, unmoved, or unshot, it will go to any unit, moved or whatever or not. Um, interesting if you want to just have a quick cycle through of all your units um, and see what strength, quality, etc. Of course, something I mentioned before, Q is the rotate. Um, R is the zoom in. But mouse scroll wheel is the most important there. I use my, if you ever got a scroll, there's your key for it. Um, like I said, S is of course scroll back. Space is something that I did not learn until today. Deselecting units. Mind blown. Ooh, mind blown, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I normally click off, personally. I just click off, left click. But you can mistakenly right click and move a unit and misclicks, even though they can be undone, still. Nah, uh, left click. I, I can't get used to space bar. Um, and of course, like I said before, the N key goes to next unit. Coming to the next key, tab, goes to the next unmoved unit. So any units that you've not moved, pressing tab will just go and select them. I use tab more than I use the N key. Occasionally I use the N key, but more the tab. I just go through it, what's unmoved. I'll, I know what I've moved for, for an experienced player alike. Tab seems to be the way to go. And of course, the end key there is the W key. And of course, a couple of keys that are not on the list, and I do apologise if I've missed it, this is incorrect information, from the rule book, or the, the manual, is the G key. Uh, the grid, I find the grid very important. Uh, and occasionally, I, if you watch my videos, I do flick it on and off occasionally to see what it is. But that key, um, combined with the M key, uh, to look over over the battlefield is very important because you can see uh, moves and of course the dotted lines. Like I said, we're going to go into a lot of things more detail in future videos, um, but we'll, this is just basics, of course. So clicking the M key back, clicking the G key, off we go. Remember, they stack. They all the hotkeys will stack. So if you want hotkey galore, if you cannot get enough of them information tabs, just press them all. But it gets a bit. It gets a bit crazy and a bit too much for my mind one key at a time i'm looking for specifics if i'm looking at grid i'll click the grid if i want to know the line of sight i'll just press the key it's simple as that that's my personal opinion there and of course the one which i've not found is the G uh, the shift holding shift and pressing the number three on the keyboard gives you a more visually pleasing uh, view of the battlefield i will turn my image off there so you can get a, a bit more image there so there we go. We've got a quick look at all the armies in their thing. And of course, pressing the keys, the, the hotkeys don't stop working. The, the tabs don't stop working because you've done that. They're all there, which is a nice little added extra, I've got to say. And there we go. So I'm pressing that again. It's there. So there we go. If you think you've missed anything, please post below. I will do a reaction video or a number two video for the hotkeys. Um, like I said, there's a couple of keys I use more than the others. Um, I think most importantly is, of course, the G key for me. Line of sight is very important. Um, very important. Remember what I said at the start of the video? If you hide a certain unit at the start of the game, it could put your opponent off guard. That's, that's one of my tips. Um, also, in deployment, keeping something hidden. Hidden units. But we'll actually, we're going to go on these future videos. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was kind of... Um, the uh, hotkey, um, a hotkey video for everybody who um, wants to find out the hotkeys. Now, of course, they are under F, pressing F1 to find out where they are if you do uh, lose them. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if we've missed any on here, and I don't think we have. But I think there's. Um, I'd be interested. The G is on here, but G is not on the manual. So maybe this was an added extra as it came down. So M uh, X is toggle overview. There you go. X.
but I don't think that likes it. So X is toggle overview. So there you go. Even I'm learning something. And this is all for help helping you folks on Field of Glory too. Use your hotkeys. Use your information bars. Use everything like that because you don't realise how much all that information uh, actually helps you in the start of the game, but also as the game is proceeding on. Um, okay, for ladies and gentlemen, click that like, click that subscribe button, and you will have more uh, tips uh, and tutorial videos coming up very soon. And I will see you on another battlefield. And bye-bye.